Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. Today, it is June, and you might not know it, but June actually holds a pretty important place for my channel. This is the month that I posted my first video here on the Mr. Chabry channel. The exact date is actually June 7th, 2012. And, you know, thinking about it, it would actually be pretty cool basically going through like a history, a retrospective of my channel. So, that out of the way, this is a retrospective of Mr. Chabry. So, the Mr. Chabry channel was actually created November 4th, 2009. And this was intended to be my personal YouTube channel. I did have another YouTube channel at the time that I kind of shared with my sisters. Um, that channel was called Kilroy Was Here 1944, and um, basically it was just us doing little skits. So this is actually the original logo for my channel, and this was actually created um, the day that I made my channel. So the first few years of this channel existing, nothing was posted, and it was just meant for me to watch videos. To understand what happens next in my story, we're going to have to go to 2011. This is the year that I got back into Pokemon. So around Generation 3, um, after I got Ruby and Sapphire, I kind of fell out of Pokemon. Um, at the time, not a lot of people were playing it anymore, and it was kind of a thing that I thought I grew out of, you know? Um, but around 2011, that's when I learned about um, the Gold and Silver remakes, which I loved Gold and Silver. They were my favorite and still are um, my favorite Pokemon games. Um, but I learned about Soul Silver and Heart Gold, and I really wanted to delve back into that. Um, so 2011 is the year that I ended up getting those games, plus I also got Black and White that year. Fast forward to June 7th, 2012, after I had beaten the game, after I had started exploring the Battle Frontier, I post my first video, and it's actually a battle video from the Battle Frontier, um, the Battle Factory to be exact. Um, the main reason why I posted this wasn't to get views, uh, it wasn't to make a statement in the Pokemon community, it was actually just meant to be a place to store some of my battle videos, because you couldn't really store that many battle videos on the game, so that's originally what this was just intended to do. And if you go back to around this time on my channel, you'll notice a lot of the videos I posted weren't Pokemon related. And that's because this channel was intended just to be a place to store my videos that I didn't really want to lose. So around 2013, that's when I decided to start making some content for my channel, and I decided I needed a more eye-catching logo. So this is going to be the second logo I used. Um, this was made February 7th, and it didn't stick around long because by February 11th, I went ahead and changed it to this. And honestly, looking at this, I do not like this logo at all. The font is really gaudy, um, but I like the color, um, the blue background with the yellow font. And the first Let's Play that I did on my channel was Pokemon Yellow. I thought it made the most sense because Pokemon Yellow is the first Pokemon game that I've ever played. So I wanted it to be the first Pokemon game that I ever did a Let's Play of. And this actually started February 11th, 2013. But at the time, I wasn't very um, regular with my upload schedule. So this is a series that started in 2013 and it didn't end until September 9th. 2015 so it took quite a long time for this series to wrap up but I'm glad that I finally ended up finishing it so by March I decided that I would like to have a mascot Pokemon um, I decided to go with my favorite Pokemon Typhlosion and here is that first logo with Typhlosion featured um, I didn't really like it because um, as soon as April turned around I decided to go ahead and change it and this here is what I decided to go with. I ended up changing my mascot Pokemon. There was another Poketuber at the time that had Typhlosion, and I wanted to pick a Pokemon that didn't really have that many people using it as their mascot. So I went with Cyndaquil. Um, I went ahead and changed the font color to orange. Um, that way it would complement the blue background that I had grown attached to. So by January 27th, 2014, I decided to go ahead and redo my logo, and this is what I came up with. Um, I decided to give the lettering a font that would be a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Um, and this is actually one of my longer running logos. Um, I used this from 2014 all the way to 2016. So whether you're a new subscriber or you're a longtime subscriber, you probably recognize this thumbnail. Um, this is a video I made on May 30th, 
2014 with the help of Jesse. And the original intent of this video was just to try out different video editing techniques. I want you to remember this thumbnail because it's going to play an important part for my channel soon. So I had been toying around with the idea of purchasing a capture card. Um, looking at it, a capture card would have been so nice for my channel, see? Um, so that way I could get my battle videos and they would look so clean. Um, my earlier battle videos was just me recording straight off the screen with um, a camera. So if I had a capture card, I could actually, you know, do more with my channel. I could even do, like, um, battle videos that looked really solid. Um, so on April 16th of 2015, that's when I ordered um, my capture card um, from Katsukitty. The problem was um, it actually got delayed. It was supposed to come in um, the next month, um, but it ended up being delayed all the way to September. And honestly, um, around this time, this is what I wanted to do some content um, regarding the online competitions. And unfortunately, I didn't get to do like the Little Cup battle videos that I was wanting to do. But um, this video right here, the top 10 favorite Little Cup Pokemon video, was meant to basically um, take the place of uh, the online competition video that I wanted to do. And once my 2DS capture card came in, that's when you see a big boost in the quality of my battle videos. I started doing them a lot more regularly. Um, I started doing narrated battle videos. I also started doing monthly Pokemon competition videos for the online competitions they do every month. And these are videos that I still make today. So after using the same logo for over two years, I decided it was time to go ahead and change it. And this is what I came up with. Um, I really wanted to use a 3D model for my icon. And here's that 3D model that I ended up using. Um, I used the same font too because I had grown quite attached to that font. So as I said earlier, remember this thumbnail because here it is. This is the part where it makes a big impact for my channel. In 2016, um, around August, this video took off. And I think it was actually because Pokemon Go was so popular. Um, a lot of people were going online looking up Pokemon stuff and this one just got caught up in the algorithm and it actually was really nice because it helped kickstart my channel to grow. Um, before this, my channel barely got any growth. All the way from 2009 to now, um, not that many subscribers, not that many views. Um, so when this thing took off, that's when my subscriber count kicked off too. So on November 17th, I decided it was time to change my logo, and this is what I came up with. Um, this time there was actually multiple reasons why I was changing my logo. Um, one reason was Sun and Moon was a fresh new game, everyone was talking about it, and I wanted my lettering to reflect Sun and Moon lettering, I wanted the background to represent you know, the Sun and Moon games, and I even changed my mascot Pokemon to Incineroar, um, because Incineroar was a new Pokemon, um, plus Incineroar became one of my favorite Pokemons really fast. Um, I love cats. Um, if you look back at my older videos, you'll see a lot of cat videos early on. Um, so I thought it'd be really cool to have a cat Pokemon that's a fire type. Um, it's a new starter from the new Sun and Moon games. And just embody everything at once. Another reason why I decided to change my logo was because around this time, I realized you could change your channel name. And ever since I created my channel, um, there was a little pesky thing that was bugging me on my logos, and that was that little 92. Um, I felt like if I got rid of that 92, it might help my channel grow, um, it might help me build an identity. So as soon as I realized you could do that, that's one thing that I did. I got rid of the 92, and I went ahead and, you know, redesigned my entire logo, basically a fresh start for my channel. But February 14th of the next year, I decided let's go ahead and adjust the logo just a little bit. Um, I got rid of the sun and moon background just because that game had been out for a while um, and I wanted to have a more long term um, logo that would actually last a little bit longer. Um, so I just went ahead and went back to the, the blue that I had been using for such a long time. On April 23rd, 2017, that was when I joined my first draft league. And the draft league was actually the PGBL. It was a brand new draft league. Um, and I, at the time, I've been watching other PokeTubers do draft league, and it looked like a ton of fun. So when I was asked to join, I was so hyped. Um, I needed to make a logo for a team. Um, so I went ahead and did this, the Kentucky Typhlosions. Um, this is the first iteration of the logo, um, just like my channel logo. 
Um, this one went through a few different changes. This was the first season logo. For the second season logo, I adjusted the coloring, put um, a little blue background instead of the weird pinkish one. And by season three, this is the logo that I came up with. Um, so I feel like this is the best one of the three, and this is probably the one that I'll be using for a while going forward. Um, I even used this for the NGDL Season 3, um, and we're about to start the NGDL Season 4, so this is going to be the one that I use for that as well. And if you're curious to the Pokemon that I chose for each draft league, here is PGBL Season 1, PGBL Season 2, PGBL Season 3, and NGDL Season 3. So back to the channel logo, on March 2nd, 2018, I decided to change it once again. I wanted a font that actually was more long term, um, so I went with this font. This is more closely related to the Pokemon logo font rather than a specific Pokemon game. And I felt like that would be a lot better to go with. Um, and instead of using an in-game model like I had been for a while, I decided to just go for an icon. And this right here is an icon from like the Pokemon Troze games and stuff like that. And I feel like this is a really clean logo here. I wanted to go something more simple, something more eye-catching. Um, and this is still currently the logo for my channel. And here we are, 2019. I'm still here. I'm still making um, Pokemon videos. I'm still doing Let's Plays. My most recent one is Renegade Platinum, which is still um, going on. This is a pretty long game. Um, I still do battle videos, online competitions. Um, expect a, a top 5 or top 10 list here and there. I don't do them as much um, because I feel, I feel like I have more fun doing the battle videos than, you know, making a top 10 list. Um, and I often will do videos covering the newest Pokemon games when they're coming out, so expect Sword and Shield videos um, with that out of the way. Um, thank you all for watching this. This is basically just me going through all the um, things that happened in the past for my channel. Um, this channel has given me a lot. Um, thank you all for subscribing if you have. Um, thank you for watching any of my videos in the past if you have seen any of them. Um, it, it means so much to me. Um, and hopefully I can keep my channel growing um, the next few years. Um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next Pokemon video.